This is my second professional video monitor, the JVC, I think it's like the HS1910 or something along those lines. You might have seen this bad boy in my Final Fantasy VII Remake video, and so I'm sure nobody is curious about this, but I needed some content anyways. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, Power Man's such a tech hoarder, like you have multiple PVMs, how selfish of you, why do you have multiple of them? Now, actually, I got this one for a pretty good deal compared to what it normally goes for online when I bought it. And unfortunately, uh, due to kind of moving around uh, between semesters and stuff, I couldn't really keep bringing this with me. So um, I had to kind of put it in storage. But I did find my Sony PVM later, got that for an insane steal, plus it fit on my desk. Now, I think you could look at something like this and obviously tell this wouldn't fit on most anybody's desk, including mine. Trust me, I tried. Now, I'm not really playing on this as much anymore compared to my Sony, but because I am really trying to up my production value and try to make a sort of aesthetic for my channel that is different from a lot of the other YouTubers out there, I can do fun tricks like this. Hey! Oh, oh, what's he playing there? Oh, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh, oh, that's a good, that's a good choice there. That's a that's a that's a good sixth gen game to be playing. Now I'm wondering. Oh, wow, that's not so impressive. I mean, you know, you probably just have somebody over there playing the game out of frame, and then you know, what's so impressive about that? But actually, I gotta do this all myself and then composite the frame later in editing. In fact, other Power Man, could you, uh, could you wave your hand in front of the camera to show that it's you playing and not me? Thank you. Now, actually recording a PVM is probably one of the most challenging, like, things I've done outside of, like, overall projects. Like, in terms of, like, individual, like, building blocks of a video, it's probably one of the most big pain in the ass type things I've ever done. I mean, oh God, where do I start? I mean, first of all, you have to adjust the shutter speed in your camera so this doesn't look like, you know, a bunch of lines going up the TV so you can actually see what the fuck's going on. And then uh, you have to light everything properly so that way the light doesn't show up. And then, you know, you can get polarizers and stuff that reduce the glare even further. But even doing all that, you still might have to go back into editing and adjust the image of the PVM by darkening it a little bit uh, once you're done, because even all of that in-camera wizardry is not enough to make a PVM look good. I mean, I'm hoping that people like the PVM stuff in these videos because I really like doing this kind of stuff. I really like recording it and, you know, trying to adjust the look and then kind of making everything look interesting about, like, playing a game on a CRT. So hopefully somebody out there enjoys it, even though it might not necessarily look as good as something like My Life in Gaming. So anyways, guys, that's it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.